In this demo, I will demonstrate the Pivot Browser, a tool to browse collection of data extending the traditional faceted browsing approach to leverage for the first time also the knowledge about the interconnection between the records. We call this paradigm relational faceted browsing. But let's see it in action. We here have a database of approximately 2 gigabytes of data. It comes from uh, dozens of technical blogs. We have 640,000 articles which have been harvested. We then have information about companies coming from databases such as Crunchbase and Freebase. We then have information on investments, uh, for example the date, the round, etc. and the investors behind these investments. We can restrict any of this uh, entity type by using the property as in a normal fast browser. But the fascinating thing here is that we can use the relations as well. Let's see it in action. Let's restrict to just articles from 2011 and for example let's just pick a single source like TechCrunch. We then see how everything down the line has restricted as well. We only have 1,858 companies which were mentioned in articles uh, having this restriction. We can then, for example, go down to investments and see what the investments are, but let's say we want to zoom in even more. Well, let's just restrict ourselves to around C investments. This will obviously restrict investors a lot and then we go to investors and say that we're only interested in investors which have an office say in Seattle. At this point we have restricted quite a lot so we could go back for example to the tab on articles and uh, read the articles themselves or given that we're down to a manageable number we can actually uh, also see it graphically and maybe we can get some visual hints on this. Here we see um, investors, investments, companies and related articles at, at a glance. Uh, of course we could go back and say well this is too much still, go back to companies and further restrict for example on the kind of company, let's say a, a web And this would produce, obviously, a smaller collection. Thank you for watching.